back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kayla. How are you doing? If you're already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. So today's video is a collaboration video with my friend Vanessa. We decided to do a clown Halloween look. And so this right here is my version of it. It is half glam and half zombie clown. And I will insert a picture of hers right now. So her YouTube channel name is Hotness Mess M U A, and I will have that link below so y'all can check out her video after y'all watch this one. And if you like what you see from her, then go ahead and subscribe. That would mean the world to her, and that will mean the world to me. And if you're over here from her channel, hello, how are you doing? If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. So if you would like to see how I created my clown look, then continue to watch, and we'll get started. Get started. I'm going to start off with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. See, I know you can hear that's my doll making noises. Alright, I'm not going to start off with makeup. I'm going to go ahead and start off with these little prosthetic pieces um, first. And then I'll do my makeup because I'm going to have to cover some of that up with foundation. So, and I am going to have to trim it up a lot. So, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is just take some scissors and trim it up the best I can. I like to cut. Most people like to leave some of like this on there, but I don't. I like to trim it up as close as possible to the actual like red part and everything like that. Because I feel like once you get the makeup and everything on, it makes it more realistic. Right, now that I have it cut out, I'm just sticking it to my face. I'm trying to anyways, but it is being a pain, of course. Alright, that's as good as that's going to get for now. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and move on to foundation. Just going to use my go-to foundation. Concealer. All right, now that that's done, we're going to go in with a translucent powder. I'm going to use. My Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder. Going in with my Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. Alright, now we're going to jump into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm going to use this shade on both of the eyes in the crease drop it into this palette and I'm going to use this color right here and put that into my crease also darken it up I'm going to blend that out Alright, I'm going to jump into my Naked palette. I'm going to use Dark Horse. And that's going to go at the outer V of my eye. Now. Taking this brush, I'm going to take Creep right here and just darken up that outer corner just a little bit more. Very outer Alright, next I'm going to use this Urban Decay Sidecar shade. And I'm just going to use my finger and put that all over the lid all right next we are going to take this right here and we're just going to use this brush and put it on there I want to put that on the lid 
doing the lower lash lines now. Going into here, getting this shade. Also put that on the lower lash line. And then we're gonna go in the Urban Decay Naked palette and get those dark horse and creep and also put that down there. Purple right here. I'm using the little Yeah, look how off I am on this. But that's okay. Okay, I know this isn't center, but this is as good as it's going to get. Alright, now I'm going to take this shade and put it all in there, but I'm going to use this NYX glitter primer using so. diamond dust now and I'm just going to tap that all over it. And with this and I'm going to take this right here. Okay, we're going to take NARS blush and we're going to put that on our cheeks. Thought I wasn't filming for a moment there. Just going to add a little bit of this blush also. Going to take this thing, taking like this purplish color and let's pray for the best usually I'm pretty good at doing these type of things but it's been a while okay just going around the prosthetics all right I'm taking this this black right here and I'm using this little brush and I'm going and adding the black into the deepest I guess crevices you can say To give it a shadow and make it look even Also take some of that black on this side of it and I'm just going to kind of tap that around also the edges. going to use this end, the same end I used with the black. I'm just tapping it over that purple and black that we did on the edges. It gives it that well, <laughs> I'm just using some of that to cover up some of that bright paint to give it a more nasty look. I'm going to mix these two colors together now. I'm just going to use that same brush I've been using.
Alright, I'm taking this purple eyeliner and I'm just going to add that under my on my waterline. Next, I'm going to do my eyelashes real quick. So let's see if I can do this. Alright. the nose. I think I'm going to take that purple. I think we're going to make ourselves a purple little nose on the tip. I, I, put, I use that purple eyeliner because the purple shadow wasn't working so I used that and then I just added that and take a little bit it. of that diamond dust. Put it on the leaves. I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to spray it. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild highlighter. It has like a purple tint to it. Just putting a little bit of that highlighter on the lips also. Don't know why I just felt like doing it. Alright, All right. last step. Now that the clay on side is completely done. It would look really good if I did wing liner, but I'm not very good at wing liner, so I'm not going to do that. But this is the clay on side. The glam on side. And now it's time to add bloody scab. This side. Just adding that all over. And what you want to do is take some and where the process is coming up some, just put that blood right on top of it. And it kind of has that a little bit, you know what I mean? Because I'm just adding a whole bunch of little scabby pieces to it. I don't know where my camera cut off, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Alright guys, this is the finished look. Here's the clown side of my clown, and here's the zombie side of it. I really liked how it turned out. I hope y'all did too. So yeah, I'll go ahead and zoom right in so I'll get a closer look. Anyways, this is it for this video. I really like how it turned out. I hope y'all did too. Please do not forget to check out Vanessa's channel and let her know I sent you. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to her. That would mean the world to both of us. And please do not forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to me. And all that good stuff. So I hope y'all have a good day, good night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.